So while doing the impeller, it seems that the the drive shafts came out. It doesn't seem to be retained or anything. So without forcing it back in, I just want to take off this front cover and just see what's going on inside this gearbox because obviously it's it's leaking oil as well. So I don't know if there's a busted seal. I might have to pressure test the lower unit as well. Um, so we're just going to take off the the front here on the the prop shaft cover where the oil seal is. So that's the in the, in the centre there, that's where the drive shaft goes in, there's an oil seal on there. And we've got an oil seal on the front, that one looks alright, but we'll take the two covers off, let you see. I've taken the prop off, just that retaining pin. And there's a little, like a, a shear pin that goes through to hold the prop. So we'll take the, the front cover off and just see what's going on inside this gearbox. Again, size-wise for the for those two bolt sets, the 3 8 so we'll just whiz them off now. if we can get this front seal off. Sometimes there's a little pry position where you can put a little blade in and pry it off, but we'll see what we can do. I don't think we're going to need pullers for it. It's just such, just such a small gearbox. So we'll cut back when I've made some progress. So we'll just get a small blade in there. See if we can make some headway with it. It seems to want to be coming off there. So it's probably a better way of doing it, but... There we go, just just get a blade and lever it out. Should be able to pull the the gear case out there. So you can see we've got the, the main the main drive gear there. Plenty of oil in there still. Just pour the rest of that out. And there we can see our problem in there. You can see that but that pinion has come off. There we go. Small roller bearer in there and a, a washer, so that'll have to go back on. We'll clear this casing out and see if we can reassemble it all. It doesn't look like there's sometimes there's like a, a nut that retains the the pinion onto the drive drive shaft but in this engine. I don't think there is. So we'll clean all that out and then uh, we'll go ahead and reinstall it. We'll check the teeth, make sure there's nothing nothing missing because that oil is quite black. Um, so it looks like some oxidation going on, there might be some water ingress. Check the main seals now then, and we'll take it from there. So while we're checking these teeth, what we're looking for, obviously this gearbox is submerged in oil all the time, and this, this gear is always turning. Um, we're just looking for some like, bright bright spots on the on the teeth, and there's nothing, nothing looking untoward, all the teeth are there, there's no sharp bits, nothing. No dulling or anything like that. So, I think all that's happened is when I've been disassembling, I've I've pulled it a bit too hard. And I think I've just popped the drive shaft out because normally you have a nut retaining this gear wheel onto the um, onto the drive shaft, but there's nothing on this. So I think I've just pulled it a bit too hard and it's just come away there. So I don't think we've caused any damage there. The engine wasn't running or anything when that happened or anything like that. I don't think it could happen with the engine running because everything's the tolerances are so tight once it's all assembled. So I think it was just uh, my mistake there, but like I say, normally you have a nut on the end to prevent that, but obviously on this engine of this age and design, they just thought, well, you don't need that. So we'll go ahead, we'll clean all this, all the oil out, we'll clean all the, all the other parts up, and then when we've reinstalled it all, we'll fill it back up with some new gear oil. Obviously you've got the, the filler, the bottom there and the top. And it's a bit much like every other outboard. Fill it from the, the bottom to the top. So for reassembly of the gearbox, it's I find it a lot easier doing these upside down. Obviously then everything just sits correctly. So we've got this sort of the spacer and the, the bear in there that goes in. And we've got the, the drive shaft which we're gonna put up and in and basically we're just as it comes in <clears throat> easier and said than done I'm trying to hold the camera we're just going to throw the uh, the gear in as well and as we push this drive shaft up we're going to mesh it with the uh, with the drive shaft and the 
the gear together and then it'll sit flush. Let's see if we can do this one handed. You see that the, the gear's sat back a little bit in there. Oop, a bit too far there. So I'll I'll do it off camera because I cannot do it with one hand, but so there we go. You can just see the protrusion of the uh, drive shaft in there now and it's meshed. And that's in. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to put this the main the main drive gear in. And that's meshed straight away. When we turn it, you can see I'm turning the drive shaft there and the prop shaft is turning. So we'll just we'll just put these bolts back in now. And then we'll finish off the the water pump. So there we go, I've just fired it up there. New impeller. Squirting water 